Right now, the search intensifies for these six inmates who authorities say used a homemade rope to escape from a California prison yesterday. Officials say the men are considered armed and dangerous. Merced County authorities have created a task force now to track down these fugitives. And News Nation reporter Jocelyn Moran joins us live with the latest on the intense search. Yeah, well, these six inmates were in a nine person cell. We do have more information exactly which part of the building they managed to escape from. I do want to step aside and show you the alleyway from which they escaped from. They managed to tie a rope made out of bed sheets and then managed to get access to the rooftop and then climb down the wall. That wall right there is about 20 feet tall. Now we're told the sheriff's office is working with multiple agencies, multiple counties, including the U.S. Marshal Service and Homeland Security. We're going to be in the middle of a administrative investigation to find out uh, how this went down and if any of the protocols were violated. Merced County Sheriff Vern Warnke says officers discovered that six inmates were missing from their cell at approximately 8 a.m. on Sunday, about eight hours after Warnke says they escaped, prompting an administrative investigation. We do have uh, officers walking up and down the cell blocks, but we are no longer allowed to wake them up because they uh, deemed it necessary for them to have a full night's sleep. Warnke says they made a rope out of bed sheets and gained access to the roof. They then climbed down the side of the building and escaped through the alleyway, leaving scuff marks behind. The sheriff's office now working around the clock with multiple counties and agencies. The sheriff's office says they should be considered armed and dangerous. Jorge Baron from Atwater was in jail for violating his probation. Gabriel Francis Coronado, also from Atwater, was charged with attempted murder, along with Andres Nunez Rodriguez Jr. from Planada. Manuel Ayen Leon from Vallejo was charged with assault with a firearm. Fabian Cruz Roman from Los Baños was charged with murder, and Edgar Eduardo Ventura from Portland, Oregon, was in jail for possession of a firearm. Warnke says they were in the gang housing unit. I was just kind of in shock. Hopefully they could tighten up their security just because that's, that's kind of scary, you know. Warnke says they've got information on where they possibly could be headed, and he doesn't believe they stuck together. He urged the community to not approach them if they're seen, but instead call the sheriff's office. And a tip line has been set up at the U.S. Marshals Service. They're offering a reward of up to $5,000 for anyone who has information that can lead up to these arrests. That number is 1877-WANTED and the number two. Reporting in Merced, Jocelyn Moran, News Nation, Merced.